What's up guys, welcome back to Bourbon Blind. I'm Kyle, we taste whiskey, we don't know what it is, we give you a price we'd be willing to pay for it, based on what it tastes like, not the hype of the label. This label is one of those labels that is hyped up. Let's face it, if you know, if you know what bourbon is and you're watching this channel, you know what Pappy Van Winkle is, you've heard about it, you may have tasted it, you may have some in your shelf. What I'm gonna do today is give you five bourbons, that are better than Pappy Van Winkle. Yes, I said it. Hit that intro. All right, guys, we're back. Like I said, what I'm gonna do is give you five whiskeys better than Pappy Van Winkle that's mostly available on the shelf or with just a little bit of hunting, guys. I'm not talking about your George T. Stagg, your William LaRue Weller, your Michter's 20 year, all these other stuff that people are, oh, these are better than Pappy and you still can't find them on the shelf. So is it really that much of a difference? No, what I'm talking about is better than Pappy. Guys, the first thing you have to remember when it comes to bourbon is it's just whiskey. It's good whiskey, but it's still just whiskey. Come on. Whiskey is for sharing. Whiskey is for enjoying. Pop those tops, start drinking it. Now, the first one on our list, okay, should not be a surprise. It's the easiest thing to replace Pappy, and it's become hard to find because of that. And yes, this year, 2019, prices have started to go up on Old Weller Antique. I'm sorry, I, I can't help it, okay? I know, I know. Before you say anything and start complaining, I understand, I get it. I like Weller Antique 107 better than 12 year also. I know a lot of you do too. Some of you don't, you like the 12 year, cool, I get it. Some of you like the Special Reserve, more power to you. But the fifth one on the list is a Weller Antique, and if you can find it, a store pick. Guys, Buffalo Trace is now making all of the Pappy Van Winkle. Even the 23-year-old from Stitzel Weller is gone. As of a couple years ago, no more, okay? That means all the Van Winkles are now hand-cherry-picked Weller barrels, guys. So... What is a store pick? Hand cherry picked Weller barrels. Guys, okay, I'm not saying that this is a 20 year, 15, 23 year product, okay? It's not. Usually they're about seven to eight years. Sometimes you can find a nine or a little bit less, a little bit more, okay? But these are 107 proof and you're gonna get almost all the flavors of the Pappy, okay? The Pappies, if you will, okay? I think that's how I'm gonna refer to this for the rest of the video, Pappies. And that's all it is. It's all coming from Buffalo Trace. It's all Weller barrels that have been selected for the Van Winkle family. Yes, the Van Winkles do have a hand in that selection process. So, to their palate, these are the Weller barrels that are going to become Pappy. They may not like these barrels over here that you may like more than the first barrels that they picked it for the Pappy lineup. So you can get Weller Antique store picks. I know it's still not easy and it's going to be even harder this year. And I apologize for that, guys. I do. I wish I could change it, but I can't. Okay. Anyway. What I'm saying is get yourself some Old Weller Antique, especially if you can, a store pick of it. Okay, number four on the list coming in. I know this label says Bell Mead on it. However, what I'm talking about is MGP, your OKIs, your Bell Meads, your Blom Brothers. The list goes on and on and on. There's a reason people search these out. They are top notch juice okay in here 
Oh my gosh, is everything you would want in a bourbon and more, okay? And again, if you can get a single barrel, they come in at cask strength. Now, you can get the Bellmead Reserve that's a little easier to find than a regular store pick. Mm. Or even single barrel for that matter. But to me, this the Reserve is just just a hair below the single barrels they're just the ones that wouldn't make it for that program but they're still really good so get yourself some mgp juice if you're watching this video you probably know what it is if not go search it out it is well worth it i will say pro tip my opinion the eight to ten year mgp i like more than the 10 to 12, 13 year MGP. Personal preference, but check it out. See for yourself, decide for yourself. So coming in at number three on the list, should be no surprise to you guys at all. You know I love the Four Roses. This is where it's at for me, okay? These are in that sweet spot, usually 8 to 10 years now. They used to be a little bit older, the 10 to 12 year. Most master distillers will tell you the sweet spot for their bourbon is 8 to 12 years. There's a reason for that, okay? These are ones you can go to four or five stores, good stores, and probably find a store pick for roses. They're not that hard to find, okay? The regular single barrel on the shelf is very good. It's very well balanced. They're usually pretty on profile, pretty on point. I will say, if you can find ones that have a number one right before the last letter, a number one or two, those are ones that came from the lower floors on the warehouse. They're going to be a lower barrel proof of the regular single barrel. So when they water it down to 100 proof, they may only be watering it down 4 or 5%, sometimes 2 or 3% instead of 10, 15%. Something to keep an eye on. But if you can find the store pick, cast strength, you don't have to worry about that. And you're getting top-notch juice in here, guys. Oh my gosh, it's so... <laughs> this first, the Pappy, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm taking the Four Roses. Mm. All of these, guys. I'm taking these over the Pappy when it comes to a drinking standpoint. Yes, this is very impressive sitting on your shelf. It's very impressive to show your friends. Hopefully, you have it open so you can let your friends taste it. If not, do yourself a favor, open it, and taste what's inside. It is very good. However, be objective about it and be true to yourself and maybe you like this. It's the best bourbon you've had in your entire life. Awesome. I love it. Go for it. You should continue to love it. I'm not telling you not to. What I'm saying is keep an open mind. And with that, we get to number two on the list. Russell's Reserve Single Barrel. Again, if you can find it, get a store pick. Okay? If not, the regular single barrel is really, really good. It is up there with most of the store picks. Along with this, I will say, any of the Wild Turkey's Master's Keep bottles, especially the 17 year and the decades if you're not into cask finish. If you're into finished barrels or you'd like to step out of that standard bourbon profile comfort zone, go for the Revival. It is top notch guys it is so wet and just oily anyway wild turkey russell's reserve and the master's keep barrels again better than pappy i'm sorry but not sorry okay oh my gosh yes 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 mm. guys <laughs> Come on. Again, and I will say, guys, these are in no particular order, okay? All of these stand on their own merit 100%. And that brings us to our next one, 
which is Knob Creek Single Barrel. Again, what is it? If you can find it, a store pick. Again, shouldn't be that hard, along with the Russell's Reserve and Four Roses. Bellmead 107 might be a little harder to find on the store picks. If not, the regular ones are good too if they're the cask strength MGP. You can't go wrong with these, you guys. Weller. Even the standard off-the-shelf 107 is really good. It really is. Knob Creek may very well be. It's delicious, okay? I will say that up front. And on paper, you are not going to find a better buy right now than a Knob Creek Store Pick Single Barrel. These are honey barrels, hand-picked, 120 proof, and a lot of times, guys, these are 10, 12, 13, 14 year product for $45, okay? Need I say more? It's got the age statement. It's got definitely the proof. You can drink it with 120 proof or water it down to 90 proof. Guys, yes, the Pappy Van Winkle is only 90 proof. Now, I know I say only, a lot of scotches, a few hundred dollars a piece, 20, 30, 40 years old, 80 proof. But a lot of those ones, as they age, they use colder climate, colder, wetter climate. What that does is it lowers the proof of the barrel. More alcohol is evaporating than water. So by the time they bottle it at 80 proof, at 35 years old, 40 years old, it may only be 83, 85 proof in the barrel. So they're really not watering it down that much. So the Knob Creek, it's got the age. It's got the proof. It's got the price. It's got the availability. You guys, this is better than this in my book, my opinion. Yes, this is very good. It is very complex. It is something that you want to sit down with and enjoy. But... Guess what? It's still just whiskey. All of this is just whiskey. All of this is just whiskey, you guys. It's bourbon, it's whiskey, it's rye, okay? Drink it, enjoy it, but be true to yourself about what you enjoy the most. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It's something that has been on my mind for a while now and yes we all search this out yes if i can pick up a bottle at anywhere close to retail even two times retail i'm in okay i'll pick up a bottle but if you can't get a bottle don't feel bad there is better stuff out there okay so with that being said hit that like and subscribe button if you like what we're putting out patreon supporters we love you Every one of you guys and gals is top-notch in our book. We appreciate you. We could not do this without you guys. You give us the motivation and support to keep going. If you just want to follow us and see what we're up to, hit us up on Instagram and Facebook. That's where you're going to find out what we're doing, what we're drinking that day. Just the standard everyday stuff. Um, there's some behind-the-scenes stuff for you guys. If you have a bottle you'd like to see on the show, put it in the comments or send us an email, bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com. Love you guys. Until next week, Friday, noon central, I'm out. Drink blind.